Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the JS plugin, General Dynamics Compressor in Reaper. Now, the General Dynamics Compressor is one of the most powerful dynamics processors we could use in our projects. We could literally customize its behavior exactly how we need. But my favorite thing about it is we can see exactly what we're doing following the input to the output using a visual graph. So let's take a look. I have a drum project set up here with a kick, a snare, a pair of overheads, and a pair of room mics. Let's hear what it sounds like. So let's start with the snare. Let's solo it. Let's go to the track effects. And we'll type in the filter general. And here's the general dynamics plugin right here. Double click it. And it looks like this. Let's make it bigger down here by dragging it bigger or smaller like this. Let's put it right here. Now in this graph, we can see how the compressor works. Down over here is the input. Over here is the output. And we can control the difference in here in the graph. So right now it's linear. So the input is going to equal the output. And if we want to change that, we could change our graph. Let's start here. And if we drag it from here to here, that's four boxes instead of eight. So the gain is cut in half or a two to one ratio on the compressor. Let's hear it. But it's only compressing up here, so our threshold starts down here, which we could adjust with the detector gain right here. So what's below is not compressing, and what's above is by a two to one ratio. And if we want to change it to four to one, just make this line steeper and only go up two boxes instead of eight at a four to one ratio. And we could smooth out any of the lines we draw by holding down the shift key and dragging over that spot. That's four to one. And we could adjust the input attack and release right here. If we make the attack slower, the gain reduction is going to react slower. And the release decides how quickly the compressor will stop compressing once the signal goes below the threshold. Notice how slow it is now. And if we want to create a brick wall limiter, we can just drag from here straight over in a straight line. So the volume can't go above this point. And we could erase what we draw by holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just dragging over. We could also freehand draw with a pencil tool, Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just draw any lines we want. And we could smooth it out with the Shift key and create any custom type of compression. We could also create a noise gate with this plugin. Let's clear this and go down here and drag from here over. And everything over here is going to be turned off or gated. And we're only going to hear what's up here because it's gated.
Now, if I don't want the gate to close completely, we could use an expander instead. We could draw from here to about here. And now this level is going to be lower than this level, creating an expander. So anything over here is going to be quieter than anything over here. We can make it even lower like this. And smooth it out with a shift key. And that creates an expander gate. And we can also compress and expand at the same time. We could draw from here over to here. So everything up here is going to compress and everything down here is going to expand. Or we could gate it instead. Smooth it out. So everything down here is gated and everything up here is compressed. So it's very flexible. Let's start over by clearing this. Let's put it back to two to one. Now let's try it on the kick. Let's close this, choose the plugin, let's make it bigger, and start off with two to one compression. And let's sew it. Let's try four to one. Before and after. Now let's try it on the room mics. Let's solo them. Choose the plugin here. Let's make it bigger and let's hear it. Let's try about four to one compression. Let's try a really fast release. Or slower. We could also multiply the effect by adding feedback, which sends the output back to the input, repeating it. We could also use the aux input and create a sidechain. Let's send the kick and the snare to the compressor. And now it's being triggered by the kick and snare, not the room mics. Let's hear it with the rest of the drums. It's pretty dramatic. Let's hear it before. 
and after. As you can tell, it's a very versatile compressor, gate, or expander. And although we just used it on drums, it works equally well on any source we use it on. So that's pretty much it. That's the JS plugin, General Dynamics, Compressor, and Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!